Welcome back to another Warframe video. All right. Um, I feel like I've been slacking on uploading videos a little bit lately. I know the last post I did was two days ago, but yeah, I don't feel. I feel like I'm definitely kind of been slacking because I used to post a lot, most definitely. But I'm trying to get back in the groove of that. It's just work. Work is like you know one of the biggest things that can really push pull you back. And then, you know, you, what you've been doing normally, like posting videos or whatever, it kind of, you know, cuts back because of other things going on in your life and all that other stuff. So, hey man, I'm trying to get back to posting. So, you guys got a video right now today. And today, I saw this build online and I wanted to show you guys. And because I am in a Facebook group, so... I've been just, you know, just looking at what people post. And people post some good things. Been getting a little creative ideas over there. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, and I appreciate that I'm in those groups and people allowing me to be in those groups. So, just definitely seeing what people post over there. And people post, you know, builds and other stuff. And I had this build uh, that I saw. And it's for a Guandeo, actually. For the Prime version, because Prime version is obviously better than the regular version. So, if you want to follow this build, you should get the Prime version because the Prime version has way better stats, increased better stats than the regular Guan, uh, Guandeo. So, just to keep that in mind. If I'm not saying his name right for this weapon, then please try not to correct me, okay? It is what it is. Leave me be. But, uh, moving on from that. Guandeo Prime, this build that I found, this is the build setup. It has no elements. Uh, and honestly, it does not need it. Guandeo is just that powerful. It does not need any elements to do, you know, the utmost damage, all right? Because with the element, it does do better damage, of course. But it doesn't need it technically uh, with this build. I think it's actually definitely good without it. Um... The build setup is actually pretty amazing. Obviously, you have all your crit mods like Blood Rush, Sacrificial Steel, and Gladiator Might is one of them as well. All right. Then you have something like Berserker Fairy to increase attack speed. Condition Overload, of course, one of the best mods for damage and uh, status effects, whatever type effect does the damage to the target. Organ Shatter as well can play a, also a huge part in that as well. And then not only that, but Spring Loaded Blade, all right, which I've never seen this mod in my life before. Never knew it existed until I saw this post. And it's three ways you can get it from, I think, a Thumper. It's probably a special Thumper, by the way. Um, a f I think it's a Flight Intendant, or it's one of the Flight I don't even know what it's called. I can't remember. Whatever. And then another way, I can't even remember the, the thing you can get it from. But it's from a definitely an enemy as well. But somebody might know. So you can put that in the comments so people know. Um, And then this stacks up to two times. When you have it on status effect, of course, it needs to be proccing on status effect. You get a plus one range for 24 seconds. And then stacks up to two times. So, if I didn't explain that. Uh, but this actually looks a really great mod. A really, really good mod. So, this obviously only works on range, actually. And then it stacks up that range. So, that's actually pretty cool. So, I'm going to show you. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I'm stuck. That's actually a pretty cool arcane. I'm oh, sorry, not arcane, a mod. Yeah, I don't know why I'm confusing mods with arcane. Arcane is mods. What the hell is wrong with me? Anyways, that's actually pretty cool, though. Like, I didn't know this mod ever existed. But as you can see, it's actually doing pretty good freaking damage. Like I said, without it, you don't really need elements to do damage. Not at all. So that was that was that was good actually. That was really good. 
Now here's is what I'm going to change. I like to now add Arcane Strike to all of my builds when it comes down to just using melees. This is when you want to take only a melee to the still path. This is the only way I love doing it because I don't want Berserker Fury taking up my mod slots. All right, so I take that out, put Arcane Strike in there, and then I go back into a Gondeo. I'm going to pull you out. I'm going to add in back the Gladiator Might, and then I'm going to add now more slash damage. Now, this is just my go-to thing here. You don't have to follow this. But this is what I would change for my setup and just my way of wanting to do things. But I think this is a way cooler setup. And just to add more damage than not having, you know, a, you know, a mod in there that only increases attack speed. You know, so this is how I'm going to do it. And just by seeing it right now, it did hella freaking damage just like that really cool really quick not terrible I actually thought that was amazing I don't know about you guys but I honestly thought that was better without an element slight bit it's not a bad setup but you also have elements that actually do way more damage for it though but then again, uh, this actually has range to it, which, again, I guess my brain didn't even process that. But what I will say is that it's definitely, it's definitely cool that it stacks up the two times for it to do the great amount of range. So, hey, that, that's cool. I'm not going to lie. I think that's a really cool mod or some whatever it is. But if you look at Prime Reach... Is Prime Meads definitely doing better than this? It possibly, yes. Because if it's only adding one range for 24 seconds and it stacks up to two times, technically this is the same thing. Uh, what? This is literally the same thing. I'm literally, I'm late, so don't, don't worry. My brain sometimes has to take time to connect to it. But... Prime Meads is basically the same thing as this mod. So, really, this thing is a waste of time using something like this than that. But the difference is, though, is what you will notice is that Prime Meads does have a 14 capacity, then spring loaded. So, really, you're saving more rather than using Prime Reach. Now, that is something that also clicked in my brain. Now, that is actually a smarter mod to use rather than Prime Reach, which I understand. There is no difference, actually. There is no difference. You're, all, you're literally doing the same thing. It does have to apply on status effect, but you're always going to get a status effect uh, regardless of what the mod says. You're always going to get a status effect. So, yeah. But there is no difference between these. The only thing is you, you got to get a status effect to order to activate the mod. That's it. There's no difference. <laughs> it's just a less mod capacity and you're stacking on effect. So I'm taking this build to the still path right now and just experiencing it. Just playing around with the weapon. It's really not bad. Like I said again, it 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 is kind of fun at the same time. But elements do play a huge part in this to help the weapon do more damage. Now, it does it does look somewhat good. I see a lot of red crits procking here and there. Um, but, again, again, without elements, you can't really do the almost damage. Also, to keep in mind is that there was a change on melee weapons as well. So melees aren't that strong as actually as they used to be before. Before this change. Before, I think, update 32 maybe. Sorry, not 32. I think it was 25 or something. Yeah, can't remember. Very long time ago. I think it was when Sister Parvis came out, actually. 
So it was around that time, and yeah, melees aren't that really that great anymore as it used to be. So also that is something to keep in mind about melees. So this build might not be 10 times powerful as using uh, elements, but this comes close to, you know, doing great damage. But understanding spring loaded now, Spring loaded is basically a prime reach, but it's just a less capacity. So that actually makes it better to build a weapon that where you form prime reach, you can use spring loaded to have less, less of a capacity usage. So pretty cool. That's a pretty cool mod, which kind of sucks that prime reach does exist. Doesn't make any sense. Don't know why I waste my time on it. But anyways. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.